Kumusta kayo mga kids? Ito ang lesson 2 of 3 ng week 4 Changing Fraction to Lowest Term Handa ka na bang matuto sa araw na to? In the previous lesson, you have learned how to get the greatest common factor or GCF of the two numbers using the prime factorization. In this new lesson, you will use the GCF to get the lowest form or terms of the fractions. After going through this lesson, you are expected to change fraction to lowest forms. Look at the example below. Study the illustration of the two fractions. Observe if the two fractions are equal or equivalent fractions. This shows four eighths of the figure. This shows one half of the figure. You will also notice that one half is the lowest form or term of four eighths. The above illustrations of fractions are equal. To find the lowest term or to change the fraction into its lowest form, you will need to find first the greatest common factor of both numerator and denominator. Change 8 twelves to lowest term. And that is 8 twelves. First, find the prime factors of 8 and 12 or both numerator and denominator to get the GCF. The prime factors of 8, 2 times 2 times 2. Prime factors of 12, 2 times 2 times 3. Then, kunin ang kanilang common prime factors. Ang common prime factors nila ay 2 times 2 and that is equal to 4. So, the GCF is 4. Second, divide both 8 and 12 or both numerator and denominator with the same number or GCF. So, 8 divided by 4, yung ating GCF equals 2. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. So, that is 2 thirds. Therefore, the lowest form of 8 twelves is 2 thirds. Example, change 12 over 15 to lowest term. Step 1, kunin ang prime factors of 12 and 15. Anong naiisip mo na kapag multiply ang sagot ay 12? Yes, 2 times 6. 2 is prime number, then 6 is not prime number. So, anong number ang naisip mo kapag minultiply, ang magiging sagot ay 6. 2 times 3. 2 is prime, and 3 is also prime number. Then, 15. Ano naman ang naisip mo na kapag minultiply, ang sagot ay 15, except 1 and 15. 3 times 5. 3 is prime number and 5 is also prime number. So, ang prime factors ng 12 by 2 times 2 times 3. While 15, 3 times 5. So, ang common factors o common prime factor ng 12 and 15 is 3. So, therefore, the GCF of 12 and 15 is 3. Step 2. I-divide natin ang 12 and 15 sa GCF na 3. 
12 divided by 3 is 4. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. So, ang sagot, the lowest form is 4 pips. Learning test 1. Change the following fractions into its lowest term. Write your answer in your notebook. At isagutan ng number 1. Anong naiisip mong number ang makakadivide sa 9 and 12? Pwede ang 3. So, let us divide. Divide natin sa 3. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. So, ang lowest term ng 912 ay 3 fourths. Isunod natin ang number 6. 28 over 36. Anong number ang naiisip nyo na makakadivide sa 28 and 36? Subukan natin ang 2. 28 divided by 2 equals 14. 36 divided by 2 equals 18. Meron pa bang number na makakadivide sa 14 at 18? Pwede pa ang 2. 14 divided by 2 equals 7. 18 divided by 2 equals 9. So, ang lowest term ng 28 over 36 is 7 over 9. What if naisip mo ang GCF ng 28 at 36? Ito ay ang 4. Yun din kaya ang magiging sagot? Yes. Pareho lang. Ibig sabihin, hindi mo man makuha ang GCF niya at nakuha mo ang mga kadivide sa kanya o sa dalawang numbers, makukuha mo pa rin ang tamang sagot o ang lowest term ng fractions. For learning task 2, put a check if the fraction is already in its simplest form and put an X if not. Do this in your notebook. For number 1, 18 over 60. Meron bang makakadivide sa 18 and 60? Nakuha natin ang GCF niya. And that is 6. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. 60 divided by 6 equals 10. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay cross for number 2 5 twelves meron bang makakadivide sa 5 and 12 wala ibig sabihin ito ay naka simplest form na sagutan naman natin ang number 7 25 over 60 Meron ba mga kadivide sa 25 and 60? Pwede nating i-divide ito sa 5. 25 divided by 5 equals 5. 60 divided by 5 equals 12. Ang sagot natin ay cross. For number 8, 35 over 43. Meron ba kayong naiisip o may makakadivide bang number sa 35 and 43? Wala. Ibig sabihin, itong fraction na to ay simplest form na. So, the answer is check. For learning task 3, express the given fractions in its simplest form or lowest term. Write your answer in your notebook. 27 over 49. May naiisip ka bang number na makakadivide sa 27 and 49? Wala. Ibig sabihin, ang fraction na yan ay in simplest form na or naka lowest term na. So, iyan pa rin ang ating sagot. For number 2, 25 over 45. Meron ka bang naisip na makakadivide sa 25 and 45? O ang GCF niya? 
and that is 5. 25 divided by 5 equals 5. 45 divided by 5 equals 9. So, ang lowest term ng 25 over 45 is 5 over 9. For learning task 4, select the fractions that are already in its simplest form. Do this in your notebook. A fraction is in lowest term if Number 1, the numerator is 1. Meron ba kayong nakikita dyan sa pagpipilian na ang numerator is 1? Wala. Pero kung meron, kasama yun sa nakasimplest form. For number 2, the numerator and denominator are consecutive numbers. Meron ka ba nakikita magkasunod or consecutive numbers? Wala rin. Kung meron man, ito ay kasama sa simplest form. Number 3. The numerator and denominator are both prime numbers. Meron ba kayong nakikita? Meron. Ito ay ang 7 over 11. Meron pa ba? 17 over 19. Ito ay pariho ding prime numbers. Meron pang iba. Kayo naman ang pumili. Another is, there is no common factor except 1. Meron ba kayong nakikita dyan? Na numerator and denominator na no common factor except 1? Yes, that is, that is 5A. Meron pa ba? 11 over 20. Meron pa? Marami pa. Yun ang inyong ahanapin sa tulong ng ating rule sa pagkuha ng fraction kung ito ba ay naka-lowest term na. For learning task 5, express the following fractions in lowest term. Do this in your notebook. Ating sagutan ng number 1, 15 over 50. Anong number ang makakadivide sa 15 and 50? 5. So, let us divide. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. 50 divided by 5 and that is 10. So, ang lowest term ng 15 over 50 is 3 tenths. So, number 2. 8 over 24. May naisip ka ba mga sa 8 and 24? O naisip mo ba ang GCF niya? Yes, that is 8. 8 divided by 8 equals 1. 24 divided by 8 equals 3. So, ang lowest term ng 8 over 24 is 1 third. Tandaan natin. To simplify fractions or change fractions into lowest form, divide both numerator and denominator by their greatest common factor or GCF. When the GCF of both numerator and denominator is 1, the fraction is in lowest term. Maraming salamat muli sa inyong panonood. Hanggang sa susunod, Ang 3 of 3 lesson sa week na to, ating abangan, paalam, laging mag-ingat.